The clock is ticking down. There's multitudes and multitudes of American people that are going to hell because they're living in sin. You work your jobs and you make a little bit of money. You buy you material things. But what is all that? Is that all you got in life is just a little bit of money, some nice clothes, a nice car, a fancy job? Is that all you got? Because if you're not saved, you don't have anything. You're bankrupt before God. And on the day of judgment, sir, you will go to hell. You need to repent. This is serious, people. Amen. Judgment's coming. Turn to God. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Turn to Jesus. Stop living in sin. Stop living against God's holy word. Stop practicing wickedness. There's no peace for the wicked. There's no peace for the wicked. When people die, people say, rest in peace. There's no rest in peace for the wicked. If you die in sin and you're not saved, you go to hell. And there's no peace in hell. You need peace with God, people. If not, you're going to be judged for your sin. And there's only salvation in Jesus, but you got to repent. you got to turn to God. The Bible says, do works befitting of repentance. And those works befitting of repentance is coming out of the darkness and coming into the light. Believing on the Lord and confessing that you are a sinner and getting right with Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, who take it away the sin of the world. You could be saved today. You can get right with God today. But what is it going to take, people? Is it going to take a great tragedy to come to America to wake you up? What is it going to take? Uh, a sickness that is unto death before you wake up and, and call out on God? People don't fear God in America. Oh, they're going to get full of fear if they get a sickness. Oh, if people, they get cancer, they get some type of liver disease or lung cancer. Oh, they get fearful to lose their life. You need to be fearful of the judgment of God. The Bible says the beginning of wisdom is to fear God. The fear of God is to depart from evil. That's what the fear of God is. But American people don't fear God. They fear everything else. Oh, if you go bankrupt, you fear where you're going to get your food for your family. But what about dying in sin? What about when you die in sin without salvation and you go to hell? Do you not fear the day when you're going to stand before God and you live in ungodly and you do wicked things? You say no to God's holy son. Love you, bro. you need to fear God, people, and repent. Believe on the Lord. God is merciful and full of compassion. He will acquit the wicked if they repent and turn from their sin. But you have to repent. Stop practicing wickedness. Turn to God. Come into the light of the Lord Jesus Christ and get right with God. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Turn to Jesus because the clock is ticking down, people. The clock is running out of time and it's not half time. It's almost the end of the game. Daytime. Judgment day is coming, sir. You need to get right with God because that day of judgment's coming, sir, and you're going to go to hell if you don't repent. You need salvation. Jesus died for your sin. But people, you let the world deceive you. You need to repent and get right with God. Turn to Jesus. Don't go to hell. That's the message of God's word. Don't go to hell. God doesn't want that to happen, sir. But you have to make that choice of what you're going to do. You think you can live wicked and practice sin all your life and God's going to let you into his holy heaven? No, that's not going to happen. You're deceived, people. The Bible says, do not be deceived, for the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. If you are living unrighteous, if you are practicing sin, you are in the danger zone, and you have to repent. Get right with Jesus. Turn to the Lord. Judgment day is coming. Jesus died for your sin. He was nailed to a cross 
so that you could be saved. But you have to repent. That means you have to acknowledge you're a sinner and say, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. And don't keep living in selfish sin because you're going to give an account for your life. You won't be able to skip out on that day of judgment, people. You're going to stand before God. And people, you fear when you go in front of the judge. When you get in trouble, you fear when you go in front of that judge because you know that judge has control over your freedom. What about when you stand before the judge of all judges? What about when you stand before God Almighty? Fear God and get right with Jesus. Repent because judgment is coming. You need saved people and salvation is in Jesus Christ. But you have to repent. You have to come to the Lord. Don't keep living ungodly. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Time is running out. The clock is ticking down. Judgment is at the doors. The ax is at the root of the trees. And every tree that doesn't bear fruit is going to get cut down. You're going to get cut down and you're going to go to hell if you don't repent. Turn to Jesus. Get right with God. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand.